So we will move on from there. And I'm not going to spend long on this, but the there's a lot of people that have an issue with the NCAA's Baylor situation, right? They give Baylor a slap on the wrist. They do not punish them for uh, failing to report or address allegations of sexual violence by football players. They do punish them for uh, violating recruiting rules and providing impermissible benefits to players. The NCAA rulebook was written in such a way that all of the other stuff outside of sports is not involved. And while that sucks, I think that the NCAA learned their lesson with Penn State. At, Chris, tell me your thoughts on this. Like, I, I, I'm not upset about this. I, I don't, you know, I, while it sucks. No, I'm not. Like, Here's the thing. Who are you punishing if you do this? Because all of the people involved that you want to punish are gone. Yes. Like the only way that I would be okay with you bringing down a punishment is if it doesn't come down on Baylor, but you go find these individuals working in the NCAA that were there and you punish them. Okay. Yeah. If you give all of them a four game show clause or, um, you know, some, you know, if they're administrator or whatever, some type of fine or probation or whatnot, that's different. You go, but you have to go find the people that were involved because 100% of the people involved have been turned over and are no longer there. So now you're just punishing laundry, which is a whole lot of innocent ass people. It's it's really strange. The It's not the president, the pre, like nobody is left. The only guy that got a show cause out of this was I'm trying to find the name or exactly what he was. He was like an assistant AD or Something I can't even remember what he was. It was like it, it was a nobody, and he yeah. came out and stated like the only reason I got any kind of a show cause is because I I refused to be interviewed by the NCAA when I was not working for an NCAA institution. Like yeah, I was after about to say yeah, he, you know, he, he was no he was no longer working in the in the world of college athletics. So why yeah. why would he sit down and do an interview with him? And what does the show cause do to him? I mean. Oh, nothing. If unless he goes back to yeah, if he you know, if he sports. tried to go back, yeah, that would hurt. But like, wait a couple of years, go back, and then you're fine. Because obviously, Ian McCall got a job. Like Art Bryles has not, which is absolutely I, insane. I don't. I don't think after this came out, I don't think Art Bryles is now. That's that's the downside. Yeah, no, I don't think he is either. Uh, you know, Dan Wolken. I used to. I used to actually appreciate Dan Wolken. And he tweeted out something about that. I'm glad you brought that up. Whatever you said jogged my memory. He tweeted something about how Bryles, the reason he won't get a job is because he did not come out and show sympathy for the victims. All he did was basically come out and make a statement and say, see, I'm guilty. You know, I'm, I'm ready to be hired. And while I understand a little bit what Woken's talking about, it has been six years. Like, what are we? Th he has shown sympathy for these victims before. What in the world does it matter? Show it again today, Gary. He like, says, we like we like demanding shit of people. That's what we do in this country. We make demands, yeah. and but you can never reach the demands because it no. just continues. That's right. That's right. If you if he did show contrition, they would. Uh, you didn't show it enough. Ah, uh, we didn't believe oh. it. Now it's fake. Like it's it it never stops. It ne you, that's why you can't feed. You don't feed the gremlin after midnight. You just don't do it. It's because just because it never ends well. You just don't. Yeah, and I know that there are people that are going to hate this because they they view Baylor with such vitriol, regardless of the logic. What with, happened right? there was horrible. Yes. What happened there sucked, but none of the people there now had anything to do with it. So give me a reason. Give me a logical reason why we should punish the people that are there right now. It's, I, I tweeted this out to Ralph Russo, actually, the uh, college football editor for uh, the AP. And I said, this investigation started when Browse was the coach. And since then, they've had a season with Jim Grobe. They had three seasons with Matt Rule. And now they are in their second season with Dave Aranda. Like, that's how long it's been. This is ridiculous. It's like what? Like I get, I get that we now have the investigation done. Congratulations! It took you almost a decade. All right, 
Yes. Awesome. Good job by you guys wasting a shitload of money. I want to know what the investigation costs, and I'd like to know who paid for the damn thing because you guys are just milking the clock, just billable hour after billable hour, and I bet it's astronomical. I want to give me one of those investigative jobs where I just don't do shit for four years and just keep the meter running 40 hours a week, baby. Anyway, none of those people are – I don't know how to say this any other way. Who do you want to punish? Now, if, if, if Ken Starr – who was the president at that time, was there. And he's now the president somewhere else. I'm okay with fining him, suspending him, punishing him. You know, I don't know how you punish a president, but I'm okay with you tracking him down, giving him a punishment, all right? If Art Browse was employed then, I, I would not like this. This would piss me the hell off if you wanted to go find Kendall Browse and say you were on staff here, you're going to miss the first four games of Arkansas this year. Tough shit. Sorry. That's what it is. And be done with it, then that's it. Okay? But like, but you can't, you cannot punish Baylor because now you're just punishing laundry. All right. And yeah. You can't say, well, the fan the fans had nothing to do. The fans defended their guys because what fans do. So you can't say that fan base is toxic and that fan base was okay with it. No, the fan base is not okay with it, all right? They're embarrassed by it. They're not proud of it. They're not happy. What do you expect them to do? All right, they're going to yeah. defend their guy. That's what they're supposed to do as fans. Love your team with all your heart. Yes. Yes. So I, it's just a weird, it's a tough situation. We have to find ways. If you really want to fix this problem, we have to find ways to investigate these things far quicker than we're investigating them, far quicker so that we can actually punish some of the sons of bitches that were involved. Well, I mean, in November, they're, they're going to restructure this thing anyway and then vote on it in January. And it, you know what I would love to see? I'd love to see the list of investigations that we have completely forgotten about that are just sitting open. That's what yeah. I'd like to see. And I guarantee you somebody's milking a clock on all of those. Somebody's riding the shit out of a clock on all of them. Yes, yes, absolutely. All right. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.